my kitchen. Today is another fun cake day because we're going to make a cake because the 4th of July is coming and I just want to see red, white, and blue cake batter and a beautifully finished 4th of July pound cake, okay? That's what we're getting ready to do. Of course, I'm starting by using my three cups of swan's down cake flour. To that, I've added half teaspoon of baking powder. Swan's down comes pre-sifted for you already in the box. But once I add the baking powder, I like to sift it just one more time. So I have my three cups of swan's down and my baking powder, powder here, okay? And then I also have three cups of sugar. I have, I'm going to use six eggs today. They are large eggs. At least they're supposed to be large eggs. But these may be Walmart eggs. I think Walmart eggs sometimes look a little suspect. They say they're large, but they don't necessarily always look large to me. So we're going to do six eggs today. They're already cracked. One has sort of separated, but there are six eggs in here. And then I have my one cup of, y'all, I really love this International Delight Twinkies Coffee Creamer. Y'all, it is so good. So, since it's a fun cake, that's what I'm using. My one cup of Twinkies Coffee Creamer. I have my three sticks of unsalted softened butter so it's room temperature my eggs are room temperature and my coffee creamer they are all room temperature and then also i'm going to add again just because it's fun i'm going to add some of this cotton candy flavored oil to my pound cake today and i purchased my laura ann oils locally at my um Cake supply at Kitchen Cake Magic. Speaking of which, Kitchen Cake Magic. Leroy, how you doing? Hey, Leroy, I went in Kitchen Cake Magic the other day and Miss Karen pulled out a blank piece of paper talking about Leroy wants your autograph. Leroy, listen, send me an email so I can send you a card or something. Ain't nobody writing on no blank piece of paper. <laughs> But I did say I would give you a shout out. So Leroy, hey, how you doing? That was so fun to me. But Miss Karen remembered. She did remember. But like I said, she pulled out that blank piece of paper. I was like, girl, bye. But look, so while I was there, but thank you so much for your support, Leroy. I really, really, I really appreciate it. But that was fun to me. And she was so serious. Okay. But I just said, Leroy, just send me an email or something with your address. I can send you a nice little card or something. I mean, a little blank piece of paper. I wonder if I'm going to do all that writing. I was trying to get my cake supplies. Okay. <laughs> so, I have some of my gel color. So, of course, this is 4th of July. We're going to use some navy blue. And I'm hoping it's going to be like a real, you know blue blue color okay I have some of my super red and then for the white part of my batter you know it's going to turn a little have a little tint to it because I'm using the whole egg so I'm going to add some bright white to the white part of the batter and hopefully hopefully that's going to help okay all right so I think that's everything if by chance there's something I have forgotten then it's going to be in oh here this one fourth teaspoon of salt and I'm going to add the salt into in the beginning when I add my butter and extracts okay so I think that's everything but like I was saying if by chance sometimes I forget to mention something the ingredients are always listed in the description box below okay I don't list the step-by-step -step instructions because I'm showing you the step-by-step -step instructions uh, by giving you a visual of everything that I'm doing. Okay? 
All right, I think that's it. I think I'm going to do a ganache or something on the cake. We'll see, honey. Y'all know me. I'll figure that out by the time I get to the end of this video and it's time for me to do that. But in the meantime, my oven is preheating to 325 degrees. Of course, I've thoroughly washed my hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because it's nasty. And always will be. I've started by adding my three sticks of softened, unsalted butter to my mixing bowl. Okay? Now what I'm going to do also, I'm going to add my one fourth teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to add my... Oh, y'all, did I forget to mention my green bouquet? I did. And I always shake it up. But I'm going to use some of my cream bouquet. Maybe about a teaspoon of cream bouquet. What does it taste like, Miss Donna? Bakery in a bottle. That's all I know to tell you. Bakery in a bottle. I really, really, really love cream bouquet. This cotton candy oil. Um, there's no need for me to use a dropper today because it's almost gone. So, we're just going to add the rest of that in there that may have been um maybe a couple of dropper fulls, two or three maybe okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix up this butter and my extracts all together i'm going to mix it by itself first so i'm going to mix maybe for about about a minute or so and then i'm going to slowly start adding my sugar now once i get all of my sugar added I set my timer because I cream my butter and sugar for about 10 to 12 minutes. With this mixer, I have to stop it and scrape down the bowl. So about 10 to 12 minutes until it becomes light and fluffy. As I always say, you can't rush this part of the mixing process. It's very, very important. And if you don't do it long enough or properly, it will affect the outcome of your cake. It can make your cake even denser. It can make it gummy. It can make it fall. We don't want any of that. Okay, so set your timer like I do and find you something else to do in the kitchen while you're creaming your butter and sugar. Make sure you stop a couple of times and scrape down the sides of your bowl because what you will notice is that your butter and sugar will start accumulating on the sides of your bowl, which means if it's up here on the sides of your bowl, it's not getting creamed. All right, you listening? Okay. So once that's done, I'm going to stop my mixer and then I'm going to come back and show you exactly what light and fluffy should look like. And when I'm creaming with this mixture, I usually have it on about eight, between eight and nine. Okay, so we're going to get this all creamed up and then I'll show you exactly what you should be looking like. This is light and fluffy, okay? So that's exactly what we need to be looking like. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my eggs one at a time. And I mix only for a few seconds, maybe about 10 seconds or so, just long enough for that yolk to kind of disappear, okay? 
Sometimes when you add one egg, two will jump in. No worries. Just mix a few seconds longer because now you're incorporating two eggs as opposed to one, but it's not really a big deal, okay? Now once I get all of my eggs added, then it's time to start alternating my wet and dry ingredients. You always start with your dry and you end with your dry, okay? So I'm going to add a little bit of flour and then you'll see me add a little bit of my coffee creamer. And I'm going to go back and forth until it's all mixed in. I usually do that at least maybe about four times. Go back and forth, okay? Now, when you start adding the flour and the milk, or in this case my creamer, you also do not want to overmix. This part of the mixing process does not take nearly as long as the creaming of the butter and the sugar, okay? So you're not trying to get it silky smooth. So this only takes little, literally a couple of minutes. Now, since I'm not going to, or since I'm going to be adding some color, I'm probably not going to mix as long as I would normally mix because I don't want to over mix because I'm going to have to mix. I'm going to add my color by hand and get it mixed in so as to not over mix too much with the mixer. And plus I have to separate the batter for the different colors, okay? So like I said, don't over mix during this process. Um, I also, once I start adding this flour, you're going to see me turn my mixer down. I turn, the, turn it down till about 2 for this mixer. So I'm going to start with the eggs and then once that's done then we'll go on to the flour and the coffee creamer and then we're going to be ready to separate the batter so we can get it colored, poured, and baked. like I said when I added that last little bit of flour I did not mix long at all because I'm gonna have to do some hand mixing do my colors okay also while you're mixing make sure you stop a time or two and scrape down the sides of your bowl just as you did when you were creaming. All right. So let me separate some of this batter.
Now that my batter is separated, I'm just going to add some of my color to each one. And then I'll see how much more I need to add once I get to mixing it up. And I decided to do the bright white for the batter that I left in the bowl. Okay, I have all of my colors mixed. And I have thoroughly sprayed my cake pan with Baker's Joy. So now we're getting ready to pour. And I think what I've learned is whatever color I pour first is going to be the dominant color on the outside. Um, and I think I want that to be blue. So the only thing I'm going to do is just alternate my colors until they're all gone. And I'm really trying to do thin layers of the color. And I don't think I want to swirl. I'm just going to let it do its own thing as it cooks or as it bakes. Okay, shake, shake, shake it. I'm not even going to tap the bottom this time, okay? I'm not. No, I'm not going to tap the bottom. Okay, so now we're going in 325 degrees. I think when I tap the bottom, it may make the, the, um, colors kind of do a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know y'all, that's just what I think. So I didn't tap today to release the air bubbles. We'll see if it makes a difference. I'm going to set my timer for about an hour and 10 minutes. I should be smelling it by that time. If I need to cook it longer, then I'll probably add like another five minutes. But I'll let you know exactly how long. We have just a couple of minutes before the cake is ready to come out. And by that time, we will have been baking an hour and 15 minutes. So we're going to do our glaze really quick. I decided to do a glaze because there's something I think I want to do. Y'all know me. I see something in my mind. <laughs> so there's something that I want to try. I usually don't measure when I do my glaze. I always mix by hand. But right now, we have about two cups of powdered sugar. I'm going to use just a little bit of my International Delight Twinkies coffee creamer. And you guys don't add too much at, at a time because once you get it in, you can't get it out. Okay? And if it's too thin, you'll have to add some more powdered sugar. If it's too thick, then you add some more of your liquid. So what I'm going to do is I like to have it kind of thick in the beginning. Just add a little, little bit of my cream bouquet. That way it helps me get it smooth. So I'm just going to stir, 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 stir. Again, I always do this by hand. And I just wanted you to see how really quick we get this done. It doesn't take long at all. And like I say, if you have it thick, then it helps you get it smooth. Like I said, just gradually add the liquid, okay? And then we whip, 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 whip. Great arm workout. Okay, and then we just keep adding liquid until we get it to our desired consistency. And you see how smooth and creamy this is. Easy peasy. Didn't take long at all. And we have a smooth, creamy glaze. All right. What's the matter, Nana, -na, baby? What'd you say? You ready for some cake? Okay, so we have... We're counting down. I think it's probably safe for me to go on and take the cake out. Let's peep at it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Ooh. I think we are ready. Mama. So now Mama. we're gonna sit. Yes, baby. So now we're gonna sit Mama. and we're gonna cool for about longer than ten minutes because I really want it to be really, really cool. No, we're going to cool it now for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to flip it. But before we glaze it, I'm going to let it cool a lot longer. All right, we are flipping. Ooh. That's that blue on the outside. That's what we put down first. Hopefully it's going to look bluer when we cut it because it kind of has a greenish hue to it. But I think it will be fine once we cut it. So we're going to cool for a while longer because otherwise my glaze will just run off. All right, time to glaze. Now I know I want the outside of the cake to be covered as much as possible with the white glaze, but y'all know I need to add some red and some blue. Okay, so let's see if we can see how much coverage we can get with just the white glaze. Now I've mixed up, I've added some red food coloring to part of this white glaze and my thought process is that um, it's going to pour better if I use this little measuring cup with the spout on it. I'm going to show you in just a second. In the meantime, I'm just kind of scoring the top of this cake, if you will, trying to kind of give me an idea of where I want these lines. But look, see that little spout? I just feel like it will pour easier and maybe I'll have a little more control. Look, y'all, that's my thought process, honey. Does that mean that's necessarily going to be the case? Uh, It doesn't, but you'll get the gist of it. And see, like now, the lines went from straight to squiggly. Now I took that same measuring cup, rinsed it out, added me some blue. You guys, it is so fun just to just to try to be creative and do whatever it is you feel like you want to do. When I tell you what I saw in my mind and what ended up on this cake, it's two totally different things. Y'all, I just had to go with the flow. This fun 4th of July inspired pound cake with a heavy, heavy, heavy glaze. And there is some extra glaze down in the hole. It is time. Y'all, when I tell y'all what I saw in my 
man was different. <laughs> oh, wait. Like this. So, girl, you better leave well enough alone. Or you have a big old mess, honey. What are you doing? I want to see my, my all American coast. No, nobody cares about your all American coast. Because it's a holiday, they do care. Let me see. Oh, they are red, white, blue. I'm going to cut. Give me a, um, a paper. Wash your nasty hands again since you want to mess with your. Yeah, these my inside shoes. They don't never go outside. They are your inside shoes. These brand new, too. These the holiday shoes, guys. These the holiday shoes. Ooh, that's a bunch of couple. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a bunch of color. I guess because I layered it loose. Wow. That's a holiday tie dye. <laughs> It wasn't supposed to be like that, I tell you. Mm. Move over to the right, babe. I said to the right, honey. So I can get the words up here. You know. So which one hurt and get my piece? Let me show y'all. You just so, you just so like you is. Look y'all. Hmm. Huh. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free? So I was just eating a hot dog, and now the, um, the, the all-American cake and hot dog, now my, hot, my cake tastes like a hot dog, but it's cake. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. I got to get the hot dog out of my, my mouth, then I get some cake. Pick up, baby. Okay, I just want this corner. You didn't give me a corner. You know it's a tradition. You're not, not playing with I'm you. Not I'm not going to be your friend. Okay. <laughs> Cream cheese, didn't you? Nope. Yeah. Nope. Nope. That's what I use, babe. I use the fork. Look. Half a cream. But it's blue. That's the blue. And usually the color that you put in first is what comes over the outside. That's funny. The outside What's of it the does. Down here? The outside of it does look green, but I was really curious about what it was gonna look like on the inside, and it's blue. But the outside of it looks green. What you See, guys? The inside of it tastes. Good. Hope y'all have a happy 4th of July. This is really colorful. -y. What is colorful? -y? Yeah, colorful. Color What's the word I'm looking for? Colorful. Colorful. Lee. Colorful. Lee. Colorful. Lee. You just stop at the colorful. Lee. Okay. You're right. You're right. 
You're right. We're good. Okay, you guys. Well, look at that. Looks. Look at that. That. You a trip, look. He's so stingy. It make your teeth. How did you blue. do that? I just layered, and I didn't swirl. It did its own like swirl on its own as it baked. So good. Let's go cool. hold it up close. I'm not gonna eat it. I promise you. It looks like you can just take the piece off. Look, see how you can you can tell it was like layered. Yeah. Well, I had to promise him I wasn't gonna eat that for me to get that fork out of his hand. Y'all see that? Okay, you guys. Hey, you um, you um, you looking too wet, y'all? I'm grown since the last seen me. I'm too tall. You too tall. All right, we good. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun 4th of July cake. Y'all just experiment. It's not gonna always turn out like you're playing for it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, man. As I was saying, it's not gonna always turn out like you see it in your mind for it to turn out just just keep baking just keep baking it tastes just like keep a, baking like turn a taste in my mind uh, finding Nemo just keep swimming just keep swimming so y'all keep on baking okay have fun enjoy have it fun. Yes. all right and you know it tastes better when you wear your 4th of July colors red white and blue let's go well, thank you guys so much for watching if you've not subscribed hit please. the nosy Please consider doing so and turning on that notification bell that's hitting the nose. And when you do, that's that shake some, shake some, shake some. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Enjoy your 4th of July, you guys, and stay safe.